And we're back for 20B. Let's go turn off the coal because that three minutes should be enough for us to have a bunch of coal sitting around. Which to me is kind of funny because it's amazing how quickly, yeah, see that? All full up. Let's see, we can put some there. Coal's all full up, and that was only three minutes of that running. So, what we've got it set to do is to first put the coal here, and then if there is a space in this to take the coal out of this overflow and drop it into that one. So that works. We're going to need four nickel and four copper. I think Constantine is one of the ones that we can uh, for nickel, for copper, and now that we know that they mix, don't put the nickel back in there, just put the copper in there. So copper, seven ingots. The Constantine we're going to have to I don't know, maybe we can make seeds for it. Nope, no seeds for it. But that's alright. We'll figure out what we can do with it. Alright, so just making those before we get these made. So eight ingots become eight plates. Alright, there's those eight plates. Now, we can drop these. And we can make these, right? Alright, so there's that part. Still waiting for the nickel. We've got four more plates of these, and then we should be able to make 24. Now, that's only six of our farmlands cleared up, right? With, you know, four crops per farmland, that's only six of them cleared up. Not, not a bad deal. It was Oklahoma calling. I'm not going to jump into song and dance about, you know, Oklahoma, but that was what that was. All right, so if we want to make the vacuum tube. It's eight of those, eight of those, eight of those, and eight of those gives us 24 of those. So that gives us what we need for that. Constantine can go over here. Um, so that's those. These are four iron plates with copper ingots. So the iron plates we know we can make by doing three like that, right? So three, six, nine. I think we have three in here, don't we? Three in here, so that's 12. So that's three. So that's six. We need 24. Okay, hold on. What is the ratio? Yeah, that's just one. So we're gonna need 
use some more of this iron so that's six sixteen So we need eight more. We are not a lot away, but enough. I need one set of three. And then I need two more, and that should be perfect. Okay, hold on. Okay, so 24 and 24, now we just need all the glass, right? Because what else is in the cloche? Yeah, now we just, we've got the treated planks. Now we just need the glass. And I think that this was where I kind of messed up last time. Because I tried to use this glass and it didn't work. Four times twenty four is ninety six. So it'd be this sixty four and thirty two. So that should work. I don't know why I don't know where I'm going. And we should be able to say Twenty-four of them. Okay, so that'll clear up six fields for us. Remember what I had said that I want to make. We have forty of these in here. And lots in here. So, to power these... I'm going to keep this field this field here doing what it's doing. Where should I power it from? Alright, so let's say we take these six fields here and combine them, right? We can take this off of here. We can take all of this apart, right? Starting right there. Because if we didn't do that, then guess what happens? Yeah, the whole thing ends up in the absorption ho hopper. And we're not going to need that anymore. All right, so those six fields I want. This is going to be imperative. That means that we're not going to need a lot of room out here. We're not going to need a lot of this anymore. Now the way that I had had this set up in Sky Odyssey, let's start by putting these 24 down, right? And let's do that. Is there room across the front face of this? Uh, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 16 spaces, so that's not going to work for me. But, you know what will work for me? We've got all this room, right? That we've already cordoned off. That we're about to pick up the stuff for. So let's use So we start here, right? Put one there. So that's ten. Alright, so there's 24. Now, what I'd really like to do is power them from the top. Which I'm pretty sure we can do. I can hear that slime as well. Now the recipe for the treated wood isn't that difficult, if I recall correctly. So we're going to need water for all of these. It's nothing but a thing for us to make another sink. I'm going to take the water out of this. We'll clean that up in a minute. We got plenty of light up here so we don't need to take out the glowstones. So there's that. Let's take these, get them out of the way. Let's take these. And if we start there, and what I want to check just to make sure I want to see that they get power they have power good so that works
Then we'll work water. Once we've got water in all of them. Okay, there's that. Then we'll work dirt and getting everything out of them. Alright, so there's that. Now, I'm going to have to make some more high pressure. A sink and more uh, of the conduits, of the pressurized conduits. which those are fused quartz. I need five of these to go in here. I need three of these. And I need one of these. So a bucket of water. Five of those makes us a sink. So we can put that back up. And we can, what was I? That's right, I was going to make. Some more f of the lines, right? Just get two of these. So if we take those and put them there, those and put them there, these and put them here, 8 by 21, way more than we're going to need. So I was wondering where I was going. All right, so can put 64 of those away, 64 of those away. We can put these back away. Good. All right, so let's go set this up. So if I put this right there. And put this there. So that'll be water for all of these. Just need to change this to always active. And now they should all get water. Okay. Then I'm going to want... Uh, we can take these out of the way. I'm going to need 24 of these. What I'd actually like to do is have Okay. 
So, from experience, we're not going to do it again like we did last time. We're going to do it right. We're going to take those and put them away. I'm going to put that and that up here for now. Probably don't need that anymore, but I'm going to keep this and this. We're going to put these up there. Okay, so we've got plenty of water lines. We need dirt. We need to put a thing of dirt in each. Can I just... I can. Good. If you try and set up the ender IO or the, the whatever you're going to use to extract prior to whatever it is that you've got growing in there it's not going to work and how do I know this because that's the lesson I learned downstairs with the cactus farm I tried to jump the gun and put the you know take this out of here and it didn't work I missed one. There it is. All right, so now we can take our seeds. And, you know, what seeds what seeds are, are most important to us to get in there? Well, let's start with this one, right? Because it's the iron seed. Boom. It'll start growing. We're going to have a setup for it. But there's the iron seed. All right. Um, put the seeds together work our way down so that one will be ice that one will be nature that one will be electrum that one will be obsidian I only have five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I only have five seeds. Okay. So the remainder of the seeds, uh, let's make ourselves another crate. Wood casing, four dark oak, four oak chests. Uh, the wood casing goes there, the dark oak goes in the center, the oak chest goes here. Alright, so we're going to put this, and this will be for the excess seeds of the stuff that we have out here. Now, from now on, we don't need to grow 16 of everything in order to get what we want, right? We only need to grow one. So, excess seeds will go here. Alright, I'm going to also have to figure out what to do with all of this stuff sooner rather than later. So we know we've got obsidian, we know we've got iron, we've got ice, we've got nature, and we've got 
Electro. Okay, so these three fields, or, you know, these three half of the fields, Alright, so that's those. And so then these can go up here. We should have 17 of each, or I'm sorry, 15 of each. And we do, so that's good. Let's go make another... Actually, what we should do, and I should have done this a second ago, because that's what I'm going to want them in. We only have 46 birch wood. All right. To clean up our inventory just a little bit, I'm going to make birch chests, not chests, birch storage drawers. But I want to clean up that. I want to put this away. Um, 64, that'll give us 21 times 2. Won't quite give us 32 drawers. We only need 24, right? So there's 21. Right there. And then this will give me 9 more. No birch anywhere here. One of my favorite uh, saplings. And we don't have any. Hmm. Okay. Let's take these two down. Put them there. Alright, so the way that I want this to go, and eventually we'll do it with a uh, controller, and all of the stuff coming from here will go to a display of whatever we need essence-wise over here, right? And I don't remember if the compacting drawers worked properly or not for what we wanted to do. Why do we have a skeleton and a spider hanging out up there? Inquiring me wants to know. And where exactly are they hanging out? Yeah, not seeing it now, are we? Huh. Almost like as soon as I headed over here, they disappeared. Okay. They were here, I swear. I'm kind of sad that we lost our hippogriff in the nether. Kind of sad that stupid TNT creeper blew it up. Let's see, since we're here. We got creosote. We got ten buckets. Oh, they're individual. One bucket gives us eight wood. Why am I only showing six? Where are my other two?
Well, that's not good. All right, we'll be right back.